Hello everyone, it's Caitlin and today we are weaving the pattern on our corded petticoat. All right, so here we are, um, ready to weave. Um, I started, okay, <laughs> we rhymed a little bit. This is like the, this is the second warping attempt. Now, I'm fairly positive I did the warping correctly because everything I've read and I've uh, enrolled in an online weaving class now. Um, so if I did it correctly, I may have switched up a couple things, but I'm looking at my weaving and I did not do it correctly. So for some reason it's ending up it's one thread and then three threads and then one thread and three threads, which isn't right. And I don't want to warp this whole thing again. So my solution that I've just come up with is is I'm going to take off the second heddle and I'm going to put two threads in each slot and two threads in each hole so it'll still be the same amount of threads but when I weave it'll just be two 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 I decided I'm okay with that uh, I probably shouldn't have picked something quite as this difficult for my very first weaving project um, and that's just me being overachiever as usual so um, yeah the, the weaving process is working. In fact, I actually got it to work for a little bit, and then for some reason it stopped working, and I have no idea what I did differently, because I feel like I've been doing the same thing. So I think I need to go back and research about this whole double heddle thing a little bit more um, before I really start doing a project. Now, we are doing another weaving project, I think two or three long-term projects from now. Um, we've got an embroidery project next, I think, but it may be after that. I would do this other long-term project and I think for that one we're going to um, we'll try the whole double heddle thing again but for this one I think I'm just gonna do what I just said just two threads in each slot in each hole and we'll do like a, a two for weaving which will still give me the same fineness of fa fabric it'll just be easier to work with for this first time I need to get accustomed to the actual weaving part of this before I really delve deep into that. So I am going to take this down, okay, but I know I can weave with one heddle. So this is just going to make it a whole lot easier, it won't be as stressful, and we'll get something that works, and then maybe down the road um, we'll do another quarter petticoat that's double, um, double heddled. Or maybe by that point I'll actually have a seaming loom and then we can just forego the whole heddle situation. Alright, welcome. Um, now that we're ready to actually weave. So, um, I did one panel already. It was going a lot faster than I thought it was going to, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, now I gotta remember what I did for the second panel. So, um, I added two inches to the um, top of the last panel that way we have a little bit of a buffer before this next panel but what we're going to do we have this nice little uh, fabric here's our cording I've been doing these in I think section three so I'm going to go ahead and put this in I don't have too long um, whatever these things are called I, my brain's not working they're not shuttles. That's what they're called. Actually, I don't think these are the shuttles. But, um, I'm used to calling them shuttles because I used to have a floor loom. But, um, oops. Whatever this thing is. Times. So we're going to do one of the cording and three of the regular yarn. That down. And there's five. Now we're going to do another one of these. Down. 
five more with our regular thread. We're at five. complete a set. I still find it easier just to cut this off. And now we're going to do 15 rows of the thin thread. So we have three of these. We'll do 15 sections. We'll do another three. A 15 section, another three. Then we'll do a 30 row section. 30 row section. And do the same, you know, three, 15, three, 15, three. Again, and then we'll just do the rest of it in plain weave with the thin thread. All right, so we have our 15, uh, and I'm getting a little close to my uh, pedal here, so we're going to go ahead and push this down. Back. I like to put this in the down position while I do this, that way I make sure it's okay. Get as tight as I can get it without um, overly tightening, because then I can't get it in the down position. I think we need to put it in the up position for the next row. Okay. So we got our 15. So we're going to come back with our thicker thread. I need to get another one of these that are big. my life a little bit easier. For anyone who actually does weaving and is watching me and like cringing, this is my first weaving project, so I just kind of chose to be ambitious. So I know I'm making mistakes and I know I'm doing things that I probably shouldn't, and I'm gonna learn as I get better. bottom of this loom, watching the threads move. You should know he's not allowed to touch my stuff. He's the reason I had to re it the first time. Also, if you are a, a weaver and you do this more than I do, I will happily take constructive criticism and suggestions to make this easier. be a couple more weaving projects I already have on the radar and if I can get any tips before doing this again that'd be fantastic. I'm doing? Okay, I need one more of the Okay, so 15 again. Go back to our handy dandy little thicker thread. Working. Kind of. Can I think of 
tonight. I wasn't thinking I was going to get to work on it this week because I have an event on, I guess I'm leaving Friday, today's Wednesday, but I got all my projects done yesterday, like everything, and that's very unusual for me. So I'm working on other projects. With how fast this is going, Actually, I should be able to have this done by next month, which is going to be awesome. I mean, videos will still come out once a month, so we all be a little bit behind. But I mean, I can post that on Instagram and wear it to maybe stand for the next month, which that's about uh, almost exactly a month away. At the end of end of May, I get to go there. And this should be. One marker. I was thinking I was going to wait till June to debut. Actually, I was really thinking I was almost going to have to wait till November I had to wear this for the first time because I thought weaving was going to take forever, but oh, 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 oh. Apparently I put the thread in wrong. Okay, let's try that again. So I have to start talking. I lose track of what I'm doing. That was supposed to be an up, not a go. Let's try that. This should work now. But I was going to try really hard to get it done anyway. Anyway, to continue our conversation, I, I was thinking it may have to be November. I was hoping for June, but thinking that's probably not really realistic considering how long I think it's going to take me actually do the weaving part, but the weaving part, the easy part, like this is way faster than I think even the warping was. And I really didn't expect the warping to be, take the longest. No, I had to warp things three times, but even with that, I wasn't expecting it to take, I was expecting this part to take the longest. And once you get the board warped, it's really not that bad. I really don't know if I really should be cutting those, but anyway, so. If not, if I'm not supposed to, I guess I'll learn why. At this point, so that's one, two, three sections of cording. So it's three sets of three. So it's nine rows of cording. I'm going to do 30 rows of the thin stuff. And then we'll do a whole nother set of nine cording rows, just like we did um, right now. All right, little change of direction here. So. I got the 30 done. We're going to work on the next nine rows of cording. So we have this. And again, we're going to do the exact same thing we have been doing. Oops. I am eventually going to make an 1820s quarter petticoat. Um, hopefully that will be one that we can maybe revisit the whole double warping situation. And if not, I am going to um, do a double on the weft as well as the work. Let's just make it a little bit more opaque. Cut that. Okay. Uh, 15. And then we'll do the next one. Actually, first I'm going to actually cut this down. I'll put this down. Okay. 
position. So I'll do the 15, and then we'll come back and do another row of three. And after that, it's really just one more row, and then it's just uh, simple, this stuff for the last 10 inches. So really, when I do it like this, with the um, three and then space, three and space, big space, and then the same thing again, it gets me about 20 inches of fabric. And I need a 30 inch long petticoat. So. I did the last 10 inches as just a plain weave uh, with, with the thin stuff. And then I did ten, two more inches after that as kind of like a little um, buffer in case I need something a little bit longer, whatever. Um, at the end of the last panel, so not the end of this panel, the end of the next panel, I'm going to have to maybe do about six inches or so plain just because. I will need a waistband, and I'll need not quite two lengths, but almost, well, I'll need a little bit more than one width of fabric for my waistband, just based on how big my waist is, and so I'm going to need to basically have two. Um, in fact, I'll probably do ten extra inches just to be safe. I should only need six, but extra is always a good thing. All right, so um, for sake of time, I went and did the second one, and we're going to be on the third one now. So this is the last three sections, or the last three um, big pieces, before we are done with this panel. And I'm not going to film all the uh, plain small weave in this video. I'll do another video where we're about finishing the petticoat, or, or finishing a panel. And that will be in that video, because that just seemed like a much better idea. At least for the sake of time and all that. FYI, I bought way too much yarn for this. Like, it may be, like, I even wasted, like, a whole spool, maybe two spools, because I had to warp the thing twice. But even then, I bought way too much. So I guess whenever we do the 1820s porta petticoat, porta petticoat, um, we'll probably use the same stuff. All right. I put just about as much yarn um, as I needed to on there. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And that's basically it, because at this point I have to do 12 inches of just this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just on this video, go ahead and finish out what's left on this um, board here, and then we can just move on from there next month. All right, so there's that. Okay, I'm just going to stick this in there for next time. So that's basically the weaving pattern. That's the basic, um, the pretty part. So now it's just weaving, you know, simple all the way up um, for 12 inches, and then we get to do it all over again for the last panel. So thank you so much for joining me today as we uh, wove the pattern on our quarter petticoat. Um, as always, have a fantastic week, and I will see you back here on Monday.